Hello everybody, Shady Care coming at you with another RimWorld. Now, I'm sorry for the hiatus. I have been, uh, advised, indisposed. And after a, uh, I would say a pretty decent sized hiatus, a couple of various things happened in my life. I, uh, I recently started dating again. Um, don't know if I mentioned that last time. I have also, um, moved once again and I came across an idea while playing this where I start as the lost tribe yeah and what I do is I make a completely medieval based uh, society I don't I don't develop guns I basically any form of technology that would aid me in combat I don't develop I stop at medieval ages so we're gonna do this we're going to go with Randy Random, because he's himself, and we're going to go with Medium, because, uh, yeah. And then, please, da -da 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 -da. what's the difference? Uh, commitment. Let's just go Commitment Mode. Why not? That sounds great. Now, the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to raise the overall temperature and also raise the overall light. Wait, what was it? It's lower the overall temperature and raise the overall rainfall. Because I want to make like a kind of snowy tundra-like planet. A snowy tundra-like planet where we can have a forest to build in. So that's what we're going to go with. Now, I am no master at RimWorld. Everybody get this straight. I suck at RimWorld. Okay, what do we have here? Let's see. Um got a desert, temperate forest, a boreal forest, I think that's what I wanted. Uh, I don't want to go into a tundra, I think a boreal forest is where we get uh, snow and it's... And the other thing that I want to do, I usually go for mountainous or or impassable because um, that's that, but I think I'm going to go with large hills and I want to find a spot that's uh, not too bad for me, um, but also I want it to be a spot where I'm going to have lots of fighting because I want people to come at me. I want people to try and fight me. You know, so I can actually scream at them, FIGHT ME! And see what happens. Um, okay, here we go. Large hill, slate and stone. Uh, I would like to have, if I can get it. Here we go. Limestone, sandstone, granite. That will be a good composition for us. Already, and also we are going to be playing on large. Um, now you might say, "Hey, shade, maybe this isn't a good idea." But I have this to say: on large means more space. More space means more land to grow food and raise animals and do my shtick, and more space for me to prepare for enemy assaults, and more space to ambush. So yeah, looks like it's a. Uh, 20 to 60 day growing period, <laughs> highs of 17 celsius, lows of negative 18. Hmm. I don't... <laughs> I, I don't mind that, I just, I would like... <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with here instead. Um, we still got that, uh, temperature is a little bit more in the area that I'm willing to risk it. However, we do have caves. Uh, am I going too deep into this? Should I just stop? Should I just play? Uh, I don't want caves, though. Screw it. We're gonna play with caves. Okay, here's our, uh, <laughs> malnutrition, malnutrition, uh, asthma. Asthma! God fraffing, damn it. Uh, scout. War Chief. Two guys with asthma. Why? Why? Oh. <laughs> That's probably why. Val. Uh, I don't like 
like the asthma thing, but uh, we randomize, we randomize. Frostbite scar can deal with. Bad back is kind of an issue, right? Little tor torn off. You know what? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with that. Why are you malnourished? Switch you out a little. See what we can get. Cave tender. You know what? I think this is a good starting team. Um, no major health concerns. Um, I don't. I'm not sure how I feel about some of these. She's gonna have an issue because it is going to get cold and it is going to be harder. I might randomize her. Let's randomize her out. Undergrounder feels better. Jogger. Sorry about that. That was my phone. Really unprofessional of me to leave it like that. I'm just going to quickly switch it. Okay, and I think we're going to start with this team. And let's do this. I will be right back as soon as the game's the gods are very angry with you. The blood machines came in the night and they swept through your village, cutting and burning people with their blades and devil fire. Only a few have escaped now, after a harrowing journey on foot. With no close friends to turn to, you must build a new home in the wilderness, as like your ancestors did. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Oh, that is a lot of steel right there. We're going to allow all that. I'm not sure where you are. Allow the steel. We have two dogs. Now, real quick, I want to make sure I know who can do what. Good shooter. Okay. Decent shooter. Crappy melee. Good shooter. You are going to grab the wooden club. Hang on a second. Oi! Give me a second, people. I'm very... That's the other thing. If you guys remember from uh, earlier episodes, I had a dog. Still have that dog. That dog is still a bitch. But, yeah. Not much I can do there. You're gonna grab the Pila. That's how we're going to equip everybody. Now, I haven't... no bugs in this cave, which is something I like, but what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to, there's some bugs, some elk, this is why I wanted the big map, because it literally gives me so much space to work with. So, here is the plan for any of you who are wondering. What I think we're going to do... I think this is going to be our space. All this right here. I'm gonna make a stockpile. I'm gonna make a dump zone, because I know they're gonna need that too. Then I'm going to tell them to use wood, because that's what we got right now. Build that. Hopefully, they'll do that. Uh, colonists need beds, and colonists need recreational vari variation. Okay. Ready. Again. Game of board board. Uh, dating back to 20,000 BC, an exciting yet infuriating board game that can be played by one or two people. It trains intelligent skills. Hoopstone ring. An ancient game played with stones. Large ring on the ground. Object is to try to train shooting skill. Okay, we're going to set that down and we're going to set this down inside. We're also going to tell them right now that their objective is to clear out this patch of woods. 
as much to if not as all. Okay, ancient danger. Where'd you find the... Oh, great! That will be fantastic. For those of you who are wondering, I am in the middle of eating dinner. That is how busy I am right now. And why isn't everybody working? Okay. Everybody... Cuts. Everybody halts. Ain't nobody. Don't do anything. That's why. That's interesting. I can't make beds. That's fine. Just put one, two, three, four, five. Five beds, and three animal spots. Now, our animals. What can they do? We have the Yorkie. Tell all of them that their jobs to help people as well. We're going to study stone cutting and complex cloth. Because we're gonna need dusters and stuff. We're gonna study smithing. Mm. Long plate, great bow, electrical, and we're not even gonna go into machining all the weapons that are down here. No power armor, none of this. Uh, we're not gonna bother to go all the way to this, but we're basically going to not study anything that is high tech. <coughs> if that's okay with you guys, if you'll excuse me real quick, I'm okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I had something stuck in my throat. Now, there is an agent danger over here. It's gonna be a bit of a problem. Currently a fog roll again. I think my next priority is going to be setting up a growing zone. So we're going to need that. We're gonna set up two seven by seven. Or gonna try and set up two seven by seven. Essentially a back door into our uh, 
compound, but it's not a critical concern as of right now. And are we out of food? What happened to all the food? Did you guys eat all the food? Holy crap, you ate all the food. Okay, uh... Okay, uh... Butcher's table, check. Fueled stove. <laughs> we don't have enough steel, but you'll have it in a second. Just keep mining. Until you have. Do it until you have. Set it to. Do it until you have a hundred. Meteorite composed entirely of granite. Nice. Um, butcher animals do forever. Now we have some hunters in the party already. I saw a prey upon the uh, you. Okay, we are going to designate one, two, three. You guys are to be hunted. The rest of you to be tamed. That that's a good plan. I like this plan. Now you composed entirely of granite. Uh, let's see. guys can do this. If you'll excuse me real quick, I'm just gonna pause. Okay. Huh. Solid hits. Lobster. How's your uh, <laughs> shooting going? Very nice, very nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that's enough watching that stupidity happen. Okay, we got the steel. What are you doing? Hunting buck. Green. Yeah, you butcher that. You know what? I'm going to pause the recording because this is going to be very, very boring for the next few seconds. Okay. Sorry about that. Had to uh, sign work spreads. Fun stuff. Don't, don't, just don't ask me to. We're going to have to develop a way to control the temperature. And. Hmm. My dog goes upset. Um. Yeah, could you please. But to work on making some food for us. Sparrow. Okay, butcher the last two animals. Thank you. That's something we're going to need to work more on. Tell her to refuel. And she's going to go to sleep. Keep cooking. We need enough for six people. Cargo pods. Hmm, interesting. Let's see. Wolf skin fur. That could be somewhat useful. Now, my plan is this. I'm going to build forward parts of the base and then more or less hollow out either this or this thing or portions of both. 
uh, to form uh, interior rooms that are way, 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 way more um, thingamafuck ah! that are going to be more insulated to let us uh, to let the colonists sleep through cold a lot better. Uh, we lack defenses apparently. That's unfortunate. We now have defenses. Shaman Merchant from Black Ridge Pact. Cool. And Shooting Frenzy and Sparrow. Area Revealed. Okay, that's cool. And Shaman Trader. Shaman Trader might be good. Who is our talker? We have a socialite somewhere in the party. Six. Six. Can't. One. Two. Okay, so it's a toss up between these two. Um, you're a scout. You're also a nudist. <laughs> you're, you're, you're both scouts. How, how did that happen? Alright, whatever. Uh, who is our... Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go talk to him. And he has some pemmican. He has gold, not so useful. S eight, adding a T. Hmm. I guess we could buy. Well, we could just grow it ourselves and and uh, and make it. So I'm not, I don't think I... I think we're going to offer them a gift instead. I'm going to offer them... Say... 50... Gold. Gift. There we go. Nice. Now, we, we, we sort of improved our... Um, with those people. Sparrow, where are you going? Hauling wolfskin. There's a wolf over here. What do we got for wildlife? Elk, mega gazelle, a borg, timber wolf, a lynx, and a red fox. We should probably at some point maybe try and kill the predators off because um, they, they do pose a danger, basically. Uh, yeah. But, that is not here nor there. And right now, we're gonna finish mining out all this steel. Because we are going to need it very, very shortly. Uh, I would also like to start building housing. So, let's... Chop down all these trees. One food. Okay. Lobster. We're gonna trade with him. We're gonna buy all his pemmican, or as much as 150 can get us. It's not a lot. Basically, and we're going to need more meat. Could try and take on a mega sloth. Don't feel like that would be such a good idea. I will say just hunt all this. Maybe the elk. Maybe not, but whatever. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see.
that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide this into cells um, so it's like uh, three per room four up one two three and then uh -oh, uh, one two three new wall that's three cells I got it, 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 I got it. We're going to cancel the mining out these parts because I don't care if they have a thing against the fact that they're. Oh my god, this is the thing, this is the thing. You know what, guys? I feel like these names are gonna be good names. But I don't like the treaty. Let's randomize this. The White Pond. Covenant. I don't like that either. Uh, the Kirto of the Bush, the people of Cabo Cabalaber. Nope. The kingship of. I can't pronounce that. The people of. You know what? I like that one. Done. Boom. This town is the White Expanse. Mm, I wonder where Sparrow's going. She's going to hunt some doe. Was weird, but we have a flash storm on. Holy crap! Where is Sparrow going? Oh, don't hit the bear! Flash storm is over. Nice. Good steady supply of meals. We have places to for them to sleep, and we're building a true set of dorms or barracks or housing for the entire party. Once that's done, we'll keep going. However, as of now, I'm going to call the video here, so I will catch you all in the next one. See you later.